everybody. I am Veronica Drake, and I am making the spiritual practical. If you are somebody who just loves to get messages and figure out what they mean for you, then I'm your girl. You know my line. One size does not fit all. And what does that mean? You may resonate with this message, or guess what? You may not. I got my cup of coffee. I got my guides. I got my angels, I got my higher self, and I got a message for you. Now, your job is to clear your mind, open your heart, and engage your soul in these words that will, at some point, mean something to you. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but if you're open for it, they're gonna hit you, and you're gonna go, Hmm, aha, I see it. All right, that's enough of that. Let's get to the message. The message for this week starts out like this. You are in the middle of nowhere. You are literally floating about, going about your business in the middle of nowhere, your mind in your own business, mostly. And all of a sudden, you look out and you are surrounded by all of these sharks, not literal sharks, but sharks that are surrounding you. And these are people who are preying on you. And I don't mean P-R-A-Y-I-N-G, I mean P-R-E-Y-I-N-G, preying on you. They are looking to you. They are sucking life out of you. They are taking more than they're giving. You've been too nice, too kind to mention this, but the truth is you floated into the middle of nowhere, you've got your ducks in a row, and now you're beginning to notice that the people, the sharks who are surrounding you are beginning to drain you. So what are you gonna do about that? you're gonna engage more solitude. My guides are telling me the quieter you get, and I don't mean inside, I mean outside as well. They are telling me that you wanna be still on the inside, but getting quiet on the outside, meaning if you are somebody who has always voiced an opinion, you've always been that person to give, 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 the stillness and the quiet happens on the outside and also on the inside. So you need to hold your tongue, let the sharks circle, and really, basically, don't have an opinion. Become detached from having any kind of opinion. Now, this is not with every single thing in your life. The guides are showing me there's one or two situations or people who fall into this category. The more you talk, the more you offer up, the deeper you become involved in these situations. And your stillness and your quietness in that place you floated to, that euphoric place, gets interrupted. So the less you talk, the less you voice your opinion, the more peace you will have. Now, what you need to understand, this may be a bit of a risk because the guides are showing me you are attached to something with this situation or this person that you are worried about or scared of losing. And it feels like a risk. But what you want to understand, what the angels are whispering, it's more detrimental for you to be drained consistently than it is for you to fear the risk of losing something. Meaning a friendship, a partner. You have to weigh it. You have to balance it out. What's more important? And so while you're out there and you've gotten yourself to this place of 
you're kind of on an even keel, your boat's floating, you're out there, and you see the sharks circling. And we call them sharks because they just need to eat to survive. And when these people in your life are taking from you, it's about survival for them. It's not necessarily they're bad people or they want to create harm in your life. They're doing what's sustaining them. What you need to ask is, does this sustain or drain me? And stop feeding this situation, these people, the fear that you have inside of you. Because once they smell the fear, game on. Now, I'm not saying people are bad. This is not what spirit is saying to me. Spirit is saying every single person, you, me, the people that were calling the sharks, these are, people are all about creating a familiarity, finding a safety net. That's human nature. It's your job to decide how far you want to go in being part of that safety net. Does that make sense? Do you get this? Listen, if you love this and you want a deeper, more concise meaning or deeper look at all of this, get the extended version of this reading. I will put the link in the comments. It's just a little bit more to get you next level to open up your mind, your heart, and your soul so that you can take your notes, listen to your guides, and find your way. That's really what it's all about. I just happen to be the catalyst, the mouthpiece, the conduit. And if you're drawn to this and you like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get your cup of coffee, sit back, chill out a little bit. Oh, and by the way, did I mention that I have openings sooner than later for private readings? And one more thing, if you book a private reading with me, a 45 minute session, you get added, are you ready for this? To two free groups that I am hosting readings and teaching for, absolutely free. You get information on how to join in and they are 90 minute groups, each one of them. And I'm gonna offer up readings as in a group situation, but there's a lot to learn in a group situation. So one is in May and one is in June. So you got nothing to lose and everything to gain. VeronicaDrake.com. And also, I love you and you know I love my coffee. I will see you soon.